we find out there are no grubs from half 10 pm till so 6 am i think i think there's probably a reason for that it's probably the curfew on julia so now we're walking so here we are well that was a strange turn of events <laughs> So we are moving. So it's uh, it's about half eleven at night. Well, no, it's, well, it's, it's ten to, to ten to twelve. Eleven fifty uh, at night. As you can see, there's no one on the streets. There's no grabs running because grab finishes at ten thirty. And we were in our new apartment, and we were finding lots and lots of cockroaches. So yeah. Um, grab has finished and uh, like you were we, were finding cockroaches. Uh, we were finding cockroaches everywhere um, and the final straw for Julia I mean these cockroaches right so when we let me tell you so we arrived at the apartment and you uh, left because you were going Tasha out and that was when we were in the apartment and I was just about to put some stuff in the fridge so I just go straight to the kitchen, I open the fridge and the first thing I see is this cockroach running all over the fridge. At least I don't know if it came from the inside or it was from the outside, I don't know, but... So Julie has a bit of a panic attack about this cockroach and of course I'm out and I come back. I've never seen a cockroach in the fridge, I've seen cockroaches in my life, I come from a pretty warm country and I've seen cockroaches a lot in summer but Never on my fridge, so... So I, I get back and I and I start sorting things out and I do find this cockroach in the fridge. And you might get rid of it and I've killed it, whatever, and it's gone. Anyway, um, we don't see any more cockroaches and that's the end of that until we get back later that evening. Um, and of course, the place is absolutely crawling with cockroaches. You know, the bloke came over to basically fix our aircon and I got him to move the fridge basically clean under the fridge because I knew if there was a f cockroach in the fridge then there's got to be cockroaches around the fridge so he cleaned all that um, so uh, I was hoping that would have been the end but, but what did we do we went out for a walk we got some water and when we come back there's a cockroach just running on the table Oh, there was cockroaches on the dinner table. Yeah. There was cockroaches on the shelves. There was cockroach running, running up the walls in the kitchen. There was a spider in the sink. Huge spider. There was, in the yeah, there was a big spider in the sink. There were spiders coming out the walls. There was just insects everywhere suddenly. And uh, this cockroach on the sofa was the final straw for Julia. Well, so Julia yeah, said, right, yeah, cool it. time passes and I, I really confuse myself if I can deal with it and it's probably not the bed they're probably all around the kitchen area which is disgusting but maybe we get moved tomorrow and at the point we are seeing the sofa we're doing a bit of pool and uh, and this cockroach just comes out just like straight next to me on the on the sofa thing just know what that is Oh, it's called the sofa thing. Yeah. Anyway, the cockroach was just like right next to me on the sofa. She was running next to me. And then I just jumped and screamed. And she I burst into myself. tears. And oh, shut up. she cried. And so obviously there's tears. And obviously I get really hungry. I go, oh, Julia, she's going to be fine. She's like, I can't stay here. I'll say it's going to be fine. It's one night. She's like, I'm not fucking. I said, there's going to be no cockroaches in the bedroom. And she was like, there was a oh, cockroach course, on the sofa. Of course it would be. So, because yeah. we thought there wouldn't be cockroaches on the sofa, because it's sofa quite far from the kitchen. Mm. But they obviously were. Yeah. yeah. Basically, there was cockroaches everywhere in this place. It's uh, the Vortex, KLCC. Which is not even what we booked. 
No, we booked the Soho Suites. Anyway, this is what happens when you move around. Um, we've stayed at a, loads of different places in Kuala Lumpur now, from Swiss Garden, Platinum Suites, Face Suites, um, Plus. Art Plus. Um, Say expressions. Expressions, yeah, we've done kind of them all. Yeah, different areas. But this, but this one at the KLCC, the Vortex at KLCC, really, really bites, we, we takes, had, takes it we've had other for stuff. us, we've I think. Had bugs, and we still stayed aging. But this one's the worst one. one. Fine, yeah. We've never been in a place like this. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, yeah, here we are. Um, so, yeah, there are switching no grubs, places. Apparently. We find out there are no grubs from half 10 pm. So I think I think there's probably a reason for that. It's probably the curfew you find, Julia. Uh, yeah, but I obviously wasn't feeling safe, so you wanted to move. So yeah, I found the hotel in about two minutes, and uh, and I thought we could get to the hotel pretty quickly because it was like six minutes drive, and then we just find out there are not crabs <laughs> available, so now we're walking. So this is what this is what Kuala Lumpur looks like in lockdown at um, twelve o'clock at night. Yes, it's the first time for us as well. So what does Kuala Lumpur look like at midnight during lockdown? Yeah, we well, this haven't is been it. out this late in months. <laughs> So we're going to Bajaya Times Square Hotel. Um, so hopefully, hopefully it's a lot better. And um, what's really funny is that we were supposed to have a very chill night because we have an appointment future Jaya tomorrow with the immigration office. carry disease so it's not even just being like a stupid girl it's not it's really not hygienic to be in a place that is being in places with cockroaches because we had cockroaches in a bathroom we went to the Cambodian Islands but obviously I wouldn't call it an infestation because he simply the bathroom had holes yeah and it could come true because we were you know on the beach yeah and there are these things it's like nature obviously but not in an apartment like that on the 36th floor. But they weren't particularly big cockroaches, thankfully. Well, they were, they were baby cockroaches. Right. They were probably big cockroaches. Ju Julia's convinced if there's baby ones, there's got to be big ones somewhere. Yeah. I'm not sure that's true. Yeah. I think it's just baby cockroaches, just small cockroaches. They're just like family. I think it's just small cockroaches. No, it doesn't exist. They're baby cockroaches. They, they're going to grow up, become big. Hmm. They just took a vote of us. I was like, we can't afford to like these in the plastic bag. Right, okay, go on. Oh. Been a while 
while since I've stayed in a hotel. Is it quite big this place? Yeah, studio. Yeah, this is quite nice. Oh, there's a big day. Oh my god, there's a big day. <laughs> that makes me really happy, you know? Seeing a big day. Oh, yeah. Wardrobe, bathroom for you. Ah, oh. so here we are. Well, that was a strange turn of events. And that photo at the end, I didn't capture it on film, but I'll try and film what they took a photo with us on. Yes, tell me yesterday. They had a, a welcome wall <laughs> with a Bigfoot photo on it. It was really awkward, I was there, I had my, my bottle of water like that, and I'm carrying a plastic bag in here. And, uh, and yeah, we were all like sweating and disgusting because we'd been walking for a quick 25 minutes. Yeah, we just had to walk half hour in the heat and with the bag, or one of the bags, we left the other bags at the place. Anyway, what I wanted to say was it was really funny at the hotel reception just downstairs because the woman was wearing a mask and she was talking and she's it's a good distance away. There's a big table and then you've also got the counter as well. They're quite far. And every time she said something to Julia, Julia didn't understand anything she said. So Julia kept on looking at me, and I'm like, well, what were we talking about? And, and Julia's getting really wound up by it all. She's like, okay. And eventually, she's actually mad at me. She's like, fucking, I'll fucking laugh at you next. Yeah, 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 because like, you don't see yourself a lot of times, and I obviously don't laugh, because it's not what you do, right? It's just not what you do. <laughs> and what happened is that she gave me the form, and I, you know, she like ticked where I had to put my information, my contact details and stuff. And she ticked like the email and number and a signature, obviously. But the email and number were already there, so I was like, what do I have to do with this? It's already in here. Is that a cockroach, Jude? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> not, like, not like this. God, my long toe is coming Look at that long toe she's got. <laughs> Normal feet, normal feet, weird feet. <laughs> so here we are. So we've gone from cockroach apartment to hotel. It's nice, huh? Good change. Yeah, and we are paying thirty pound. Thirty pound one night. Yeah. How much is it? One hundred seventy-three. I think it was a bit more because they added like ten percent or something. They added. It's fine. It was 51% off anyway, technically. Ah, uh -huh, come on, it's a big room. 11 p.m. So, oh, really? the, yeah. So you get the last minute, yeah. yeah. Very old school. Carpet. You don't see a lot of hotels with carpets anymore. They've all swapped that out. Be the marble flooring or. Wooden flooring, what I've seen. Old school chairs. Hey! But yeah, I always loved the, uh, the old dressing gowns. But uh, this is kind of not what I had in mind. Uh, we've got to go to Peach Dry tomorrow, so uh, it's a bit long. And we've got to get everything printed off. We're doing it in classic, classic fashion of doing everything last minute. What's going to happen when we get to Peter Dryer is they're going to, we're going to roll up and they're going to be like, right, this is not happening. Uh, we're not extending. Or they're going to say, we'll give you 30 days from now and uh, we'll be in a right old sticky situation because we've got to be out on the, the 4th of July, which doesn't give us a lot of extra time. No worries on stage, no worries, no worries when we've done this, of leaving a place like we did. And uh, so it's not that we're terrible and we're actually so like, you know, snobbish and shit. And, uh, and, we, and we always run away from places. It's never happened before, it's the first time. So believe me, it was really bad. Did move out one place once? No, not like this. 
we we moved early from one place. Crop in, yeah. Yeah, we just decided to to shorten the stay, yeah. which is different. So we had to do like three days, or I can't remember how long, and we decided to do one day less, and we moved the place. We were not really happy, but it was nothing like that. I will, I'll, that was not even that needed. We just wanted to go somewhere else, I believe. But. Yeah, never like this in the middle of nine because we realised we couldn't stay. Look in the old fridge, mini bar, mini mini bar, extremely mini bar. <laughs> there is not a single beer in the mini bar. It's a sad mini bar. Sometimes they have packs of nuts as well. I really don't like mini bars without any of the booze. I mean, I'm not drinking at the moment, but it's always a sad sight when there's no alcohol in. Oh my lord, that scared the hell out of me. Yeah, the gym is closed. This is good. Oh, look, that's the thing we, we had the, the photo taken. Um, remember? Hmm. This is not Malaysian TV, Julia. <laughs> this is just a hotel. Old school paintings over here. This is a little tour of the room. Love all the free stuff, toothbrushes. Has anyone ever actually use a shower cap? Never ever use these. Never use a sanitary towel. A sanitary bag, what you use when you're on your period, Julia? Uh, no idea, I don't know what they mean. Oh, okay. A sanitary bag, don't know what that is. The shower cap, never ever use the shower cap. Never. And the shower as well, good shower. The room's actually quite big. It's a big room. Obviously you've got the wardrobe and stuff, but we're only here for a night, so. Hair dryer, laundry bags. Price of laundry. Let's have a look. Laundry list. Price per item is it? Oh, two pound per shirt. Six pounds for a six pound for an overcoat. Dry cleaning to be honest. Just washing shirt and two pound, two pound shirt is quite expensive. That'll add up very quickly there. Shows how shows how expensive this place is. Right, and that's the tour. It was probably very shitly filmed, as per as how we roll here. Right, so there is the day and it's absolutely pissing it down.